In my last video I set out these criteria for selecting a new saddle. The Brooks C17 Cambium. Well it's arrived and here's the box. I've never really understood unboxing videos, mainly because the stuff I usually buy comes in bubble wrap. This Brooks saddle is different, so I thought I'd do an unboxing video. I thought I'd also give you a first ride impression. The saddle comes in a very understated box. The box has this little poem printed on it. It's not a very good poem, but it's a nice thought. Opening the box then reveals the saddle. Oh look, there's an envelope. Inside is a document with some uninteresting information. Let's get the saddle off the card and look at it in more detail. The surface of the saddle has a slight amount of texture, but is primarily fairly smooth. I suspect a lot of this texture will wear down and the saddle will end up smooth at the touch points. When you tap the surface, it sounds quite hard. However, the top of the saddle is made from a rubber-like material, so it has some flexibility. The only other significant feature is the saddle has a couple of eyes for attaching a saddlebag. I think the saddle has a bit of an understated elegance about it. When I first sat on the saddle it felt quite hard, which I suppose it is compared to my old one. There again I didn't feel there were any high pressure contact points, that is my load seemed to be spread fairly evenly. This is a bit of hyperbola really, but it felt as though I was sitting in the saddle rather than sitting on the saddle. I've just ridden over a fairly rough piece of road there, and I can really feel the saddle flexing as I went over the bumps, taking the sting out of the worst of the road surface. So you can see the suspension effect quite well here. I set this saddle up to mimic the position of my old saddle. I think mostly it has worked, although at this stage, after about 15 kilometers, I was getting the feeling that the front of the saddle was slightly too low. I've just stopped and raised the front of the saddle slightly, and actually this now feels much better. I said in my selection criteria that I wanted to be able to find slightly different seating positions. I have managed to do this on this ride, however I won't really be able to tell how successful this is until I go on a much longer ride. I did say I wasn't concerned about the weight of the saddle, which is just as well because this is how much it weighs. Although it is lighter than my old saddle. Okay, let's sum up. Although first I have a couple of caveats. First of all, I've only done about 35 kilometers on this ride. And secondly, I need to look out for sunk cost bias. That is post rationalizing my decision because I've invested time and money in the saddle. I'll try to give an objective view. Well, near the end of the ride, the saddle was feeling okay. I wasn't feeling any particular high points or sore points, although I could feel a slight pressure around my sit bone area. However, this might have been a remnant from my previous saddle saw. So far, the saddle shape seems to be good, and I really like the suspension effect I get from the saddle flexing. Obviously, I need to do some more and longer rides to see whether it's suitable for those 100 km or more rides. However, today's ride has given me enough confidence to give that a go. The only slight negative I found was that feeling of extra pressure around my sit bones. However, that might just be a matter of bio-adaption, or as they say, toughening your bum up. Once I've ridden a few thousand kilometers using this saddle, I'll report back with my longer term review. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to know how I get on with the saddle in the future, subscribe. From me, for now, it's goodbye.